Reveille is the signal for the start of the official duty day. Because the time for the start of the duty day varies between bases, the commander designates the specified time for Reveille and if a Reveille ceremony will accompany the raising of the flag. This video will be based on the ceremony. Shortly before the specified time for Reveille, airmen are marched to a pre-designated position near the base of the flagstaff, halted, faced towards the flagstaff, and dressed. The unit commander commands, Hooray! Pest! At the specified time for Reveille, the unit commander commands, Sound! Reveille! Forward! March! The flag detail assumes the position of attention, moves to the flagstaff, and normally attaches the flag to the halyards. Because this flagpole does not have halyards, a full detail of four is not necessary. After Reveille has been played, the unit commander commands and then and then faces the flagstaff and executes present arms. On this signal, the national anthem or to the color is sounded. On the first note of the national anthem or to the color, the flag security detail begins to raise the flag briskly. The senior member of the detail holds the flag to keep it from touching the ground. The unit commander holds the salute until the last note of the music is played. Then he or she executes order arms, faces about, and commands. Order arms. The airmen are then marched back to the dismissal area. The retreat ceremony serves a twofold purpose. It signals the end of the official duty day and serves as a ceremony for paying respect to the flag. Because the time for the end of the duty day varies, the commander designates the specific time for the retreat ceremony. Shortly before the specified time for retreat, airmen are marched to a pre-designated position near the base of the flagstaff, halted, faced toward the flagstaff, and dressed. The unit commander commands, Hooray! Pest! At the specified time for retreat, the commander orders Sound retreat. The flag detail begins marching to the flag during retreat. When persons not assigned to a formation are outdoors and in uniform, on the first note of retreat, they should face the flag, if visible, or music, and assume the position of parade rest. On the final note of retreat, the commander faces about and commands and then the national anthem or to the color is played while the flag detail lowers the flag slowly and with dignity. As a note, the flag should reach the bottom of the pole on the last note of the national anthem or to the color. When persons not assigned to a formation are outdoors and in uniform, on the first note of the national anthem or to the color, they should face the flag if visible or music and assume the position of attention and then present arms. On the last note of the national anthem or to the color, the commander faces about, gives the airman the command, and then faces to the front. The flag detail begins to fold the flag. The flag is held parallel to the ground by the flag bearer and folder. The flag is tabled twice before folding. A triangular fold is made by bringing the striped corner of the folded edge to meet the open edge of the flag. The folding is done from the folders right to left. The remaining detail members stand to the side and ensure the flag is tight as it is folded. Consecutive triangles are made until the flag is fully folded. The flap is tucked in and only the stars are visible. The flag bearer then cradles the flag with the top of the isosceles up. When the flag is secured, the flag security detail marches away and the airmen are then marched to their areas and dismissed.